Alright, and welcome to Digital Shrine, test out the Steam controller, I'm Nurse Line, of course, and today we will be taking a look at uh, how well this thing performs on games that are Steam games, or games that, well, let's just say games that are in, uh, games that they were intending to make it, uh, to make this controller for, which are games like SDL, uh, and Bridgedor, not really Bridgedor, but, but it'll be fun to test out Bridgedor, uh, but like I was saying, SDL, now, what do I mean? By this, I mean FDL doesn't doesn't have control support of any kind. Doesn't even have uh, it doesn't even have key bindings as far as I know. Because well, because the entire game is basically just mouse support. So what we're going to do is we are going to get the default configuration. Actually, no, let's look at templates. Yeah, let's try this. Um, sure, let's try that. Let's try to see that works. All right, now let's go ahead over to Vigidor. Be right back. Or not Vigidor, FDL. Be right back. Oh, oh yeah. You caught me. Uh, you caught me in that. All right, let's try this. Uh, works nice. All right. Yep. Remember, this game has no controls for of any kind. Neither. Oh, that's that. Uh, oh. Neither does it have any keybindings of any kind. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay, now let's start a new game. Actually, no, let's just use my old game since I'm doing that. I have, a, I have an interesting history of FDL, by the way, but we'll explain that if we have time. Alright, what do we have here? Alright. I have an interesting history because I played it a whole lot. Uh, although, half of the time I've been playing it, i actually been playing with a, you know, with a modified save. Oh, oh, it's not just TV. Yeah, with a modified save. Uh, which made it so uh, I had all the ships and stuff, but unfortunately I deleted my old save because that save overwrites the old save, or that's you put that save in place of the old saves. Uh, so I lost all that, I lost all that progress. But well, all right, but um, here we are. Okay, you. Oh, it's very fit. Oh wow, you go there. Okay, look, right click. Actually, let me get. A, okay, this is the mouse. You just gotta get accustomed to the game again. I haven't played this in a long time. Actually, you know what? Uh, instead of this, this, uh, this, uh, why am I using the default template or this? Uh, oh well. Actually, yeah, I'll be right back to see which one, which template I'm using. Alright, back. Alright, so yeah, I put it on the default default, uh, which is what you saw in the first video, at the beginning of the first video. Alright, we're here. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Again! You know, this game... Remember, this game has no controls for whatsoever. Nor key bindings. Yet. Start. Back. Or... Have, let's try A. B. Why? Why doesn't it do much? Oh, it doesn't do much? Oh, yes it does! It hit Y and use the left stick to actually move the thing. How about... The D-pad touchpad? Nope. Those don't work okay. Alright, well, I think we're gritting. There we go. We'll get over there. I know. I know if I. I know if I. Pa if I have to, I can just hit A, and that's my panic button. All right, let's do this. All right. Well, let's have to fix it. Okay, next sector. Um, let's go to Zoltan controls because they're good people. I think I forgot actually. All right, well, this is not. We're not doing. We're not doing this for the FDL. We're doing this to test the controller. Alright, well, let's go here or not. So go play it, because it is my save after all. Um sure. Yeah, buying scrap because we had no fuel. Yeah, I guess we can go to the store, but we don't really uh going to the store and buying more fuel. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's working fine it's working fine right now, the controller. I haven't even realized I'm using a controller on FDL. Yeah, that should work. I think still anything. I don't think so. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I got some stuff for this save. I'm 
even remember the last time I played this safe. Okay, let's go there. Actually, I should have went down. I've been far. Alright, let's see if we can get into combat and see how well the, uh... Yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Take that. Yeah, hey, good stuff. Right, you can always pause it if you want. Yeah, if I ever do an actual uh, STL gameplay video or series, which is kind of test for, which this is kind of a test for, uh, I'll read everything. Unless, of course, it repeats and I just say, oh, it's that one thing. I hope we get contacts. Oh, intruders. That's not good. Clifton, you move there. If you move there. Actually, move there. We'll hijack him there. You go there. Open these doors. Okay, there. Okay. Oh, I'm just barely getting them already heal. I want a real combat. I didn't want intruders. Okay. Oh, and they're shooting us. And it's not good. We don't have any weapon. Actually, yes, we can. Oh, we know we can't. Oh, we can't because they broke it. They alright. They're getting them. Barely. Okay, here we go. And we have tons of stuff to think this out. Okay, get that. Oh, we have no O2. Right, that's bad. Uh, move. Actually, it might be easier just to do this. Okay, get fixing that. Actually, you get on, uh... Yeah, I must get to the controls. You can actually dodge a little bit? Okay, now we... Ah, oh, more guys. Great. Okay. Okay, that's good to get to that. Uh, these guys, I think these guys are relatively weak, so. The weapons up so I can start shooting people. These guys should be no problem. Okay, get weapons, get power in that. Then we should, oh. Oh, they tell them before you're good. Uh, get the weapons down. System is broken. That'll be fixed in a sec. I got it. The controls is actually working as intended, as perfectly as it sounds. It's they're working perfectly. You listen to get back on the engines. Okay, get that firing on that. Oh, you actually get these up. Oh. One of the missiles, unfortunately. I think we're good. It started off really badly, but I think they ran out of crew. Or actually, no, they didn't run out of crew. They teleported their guy back, so now they have only one guy on, I think. All right, we're good. And open fire. I'm firing their weapons. That's what I like to do. Oh, do I have to double left quick? I think that's it. Hey, got to double left quick. There we go. Hey, okay. Oh, he has fast shield regen. Not good, they don't have any missiles to shoot. I like they can get through our shields. There we go, stuff your weapons. Yeah, I like to shoot their weapons, and I like to shoot, I like to shoot their weapons and shields. Mainly, mainly weapons because when they get their weapons down, uh, when we get their weapons down, they can't shoot back. And, they can, and, they're, may, may, and they're basically sitting there, sitting there here, they can still dodge because they still got their Bridge and their engine up, but for the main part, they're they're stuck, they're stuck in the water. All right, well, I got I got I have to say the controller works actually perfectly. It worked, hey, it looked oh, I mean it worked a thousand times better than cross code and um, Halo Spartan Strike, and it does work better than uh, it does work it does work better than uh, uh, Renegade X. And, uh, Angel, and Angels Fall First. Well, Angels Fall First probably would work just fine if, um, probably work just fine if, uh, it was not, an, if it was not an early access and I could actually, re and actually could change the key bindings to match the controller a little bit better. For the most part, I think that's what happened. Okay, their weapons are down. 
Okay, now shoot at their shields. So we can get the shields down so we have an easier time. Oh, I can use the... Oh, okay. Okay, so the left paddle uh, pauses the game. Oh, I was thing is paddles in case I didn't say earlier. Or in the last video. Their shields down. Because they got two shields that's from. Shields are not down yet. Oh, they got one shield. That means they're going down. But yeah, even, even though I had a situation where I could barely handle it, I was able to handle it just fine with the scene controller. I thought I was going to have to go resort to the mouse to save my save, but I didn't need to. It just works just fine. Eh, we got, we got, we got more stuff to pay for all the damages. Alright, so now let's go try out a different game. Uh, what game should we do next? Uh, I think Regidor next. Uh, we'll try out the tutorial and see how it works. Because this series is not meant about, it's not meant about the gameplay. It's meant to see how well the controller works with the game. Um, and the gameplay is just that on the side. Alright, but, um, now yeah, meet you in Brigidor. Now here we are in Brigidor, let's try it out. Okay, uh, okay, obviously this works just perfectly. Alright. Let's go to tutorial. Basic gameplay, because we just want to walk around and shoot things. Because this game's a little interesting. It's just like cross-code and the fact that you have to aim with the... You have to... Basically in this game... Um... Oh, yes. Basically in this game, uh, you, you shoot wherever you're aiming. Uh, yeah, I mean, not just, not just aiming horizontally, but also vertically. As you can see, the lines are going down. Yeah, steer. <laughs> who needs to steer with the, <laughs> who needs to steer with top of your when you have to, when you have a left stick. Oh, man, left stick could be a little bit better. Uh, but it works okay. Uh, let's get moving, let's not, let's not own these guys. Yeah, these guys are just, I ah, don't remove all them. Oh, we got problems. What's shooting? Okay, that stop. Um, uh, paddles? Okay, a left pedal does that, which is stealth. I'm surprised I'm not shooting. Space to stop. Also known as A. Also known as A. That works. Shooting. Oh, is that are no no shooting yet? Maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe my guns. Uh, maybe my guns are. Um, I'm trying to. Oh, meh. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to use it like a uh, camouflage with the left pedal, and then stomp them into the ground. Oh, wrong way. Oh, meh. There we go. <laughs> but hey, it works kinda. Almost tougher than others. Oh, we had no ammo. Yeah, that would that would um that would that'd be why we can't shoot shoot with uh that'd be why we can't shoot with the triggers because we don't have any ammo to shoot stuff with. Um, I'm saying, oh wait, X. I mean, yeah, these how in the world do these games work like this? I mean, okay, yeah, Bridge Door makes sense. At least it's on Steam. But how in the bloody world does uh, Renegade X work? I mean, it has a Steam overlay, but it's not on Steam, is it? Magic. Magic is what I call it. Magic. The magic of this... Oh, it explodes. Yeah. I remember, it's not a... Uh, we're, it's not a uh, scorpion thing. It doesn't maneuver like that. Okay, can we use our gun now? Yeah. Can we shoot now? Yep. Oh yeah, we just that we just had to get permission. Yep. And right trigger shoots. Uh, right trigger shoots the, I think the uh, blue gun. Yeah, right trigger shoots the blue gun. Uh, left trigger shoots the right one. Destroy overdoles. All right. There we go. And exit to the gate. So works perfectly. Not enough said. Isn't it weird? Uh, the first two games, uh, the first two games that are, don't work with, that, that don't work with, that don't have controllers for it at all, um, are the ones that work best with the Steam controller. On Steam, anyway. Isn't that hilarious? Alright. Should we try a quick match? Uh, we could try a quick match or we can try another Steam game that doesn't really work with a controller. Um. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll be right back once we get once I play it. Uh, or we can try. Uh, no, let's try a very quick match. 
Uh, because the tutorial was just to let, was just to get me in the mood, or, or was just to do that, so let's try a quick match. Uh, which one is the one I like? Crook? No, it's a mech. Oh, yeah, the Prowler. And then the Barmer Chief, look at that. And the real gun. Where's my real gun at? Yeah, real gun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it actually really works with this game really well. And this game does kind of need a Steam controller, because unlike, uh, you know, unlike a uh, game that, a general game with a gamepad, Yeah, let's break contact with that. All right. Oh, the gardens are new. Here, let's try the gardens. I guess I gotta come back for this game sometime. All right, let's do this. No, we'll just play a quick match. We won't actually... Uh... Yeah, that works way better with this tank than it did with the... Or the left stick works way better with this tank than it did with the uh, walker. Okay, look for contacts. I want to see civvies for so far. I mean, the list of kind of... Oh, you're dead. Fire the cannon. Fire the real gun. Oh, he's turning around. Fire the cannon. No, fire the real gun. No, fire the cannon. Fire the real gun. I mean, fire the gun. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's take a little bit more sensitive for this. Uh, though I think it's just a game. I think it's just a game interpretation uh, of the Steam controller that's really bad. At, that that the controller doesn't like. Um, name the right. T oh, you're. Oh, this guy could be from. See my gun. My shots are going with them. But if I move the, my my move the pad. There we go. That could be. For, that could be oh, back it up. Okay, prefer for cannon and cannon. Oh, cannon. Be fine. There we go. Okay, clear from uh, the guy over there. Um, but yeah, it works fine. Okay, that's probably an enemy. There we go. Oh, was it the cannon I shot? Yeah, I think it was the cannon instead of the real gun. My bad. Okay, but yeah, it works fine. Okay, so, um, okay, yeah, I, I kind of hit quit and then quit the entire game there, but oh well, let's try Toxic. Now, Toxic. It's interesting because Toxic was the Toxic was the first thing I thought when I heard Steam Controller and could play old games. I was like, you know what? Since Toxic's all about you know the PC community and being a little bit piece of elitist, as in we will never use we will never have controllers of port because that's not like that's not like us. That's not retro PC first person shooter. So next to that, we're going to use a controller. Does it work? Oh my word, it doesn't work. Uh, let me try uh, turning it off and turning it back on again, because that usually helps. Yeah, if the controller doesn't really work, try turning it off and on again. It works fine then after. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, you can be, ooh, you can be tough. Okay. Um, fine, then let's just kill things. Fine, then let's, do, let's go on a map and kill things. Uh, have a good old foundation. Man, it's just... It's me another guy, and let's start. Now, hopefully the sound's right, because it was a little loud when I came in here. Even though this was one of the games I previously recorded, so I don't know why, don't know what the sound was. I guess it got updated. Because it... Okay, because it happens, uh... That worked. Okay, yeah, we're going, we're going in. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work ever. Oh, there's a little sensitivity. You know why there's a little sensitivity? It's still in computer mode, okay. How in the Oh, you know what? Uh, do, do, do. Mouse. Yes, mouse. Actually, let's turn the audio up a little bit. Oh, how did I get too low? How did I get over there? That's yeah, fine. Mouse. Oh, that's not mouse. Mouse, mouse, max that stuff out. No, oh, not that far back. All right, there we go. It's not like it enough, but it works now. Actually, I gotta mess with the uh, let's get that shotgun. Uh, I'm gonna mess with this instead, but yeah, it works ever. Good. 
Yeah, we need up the sensitivity of the uh, actual controller. Uh, I can just use my gamepad, I guess. Oh, my gamepad not, might not work. Where is this guy? But does it ever work? It doesn't work a whole lot because it's not because the sensitivity is terrible. Oh, let's use let's use my okay. My thumb it doesn't really make it move fast enough, but my uh, my uh, index finger does, which is weird. I do recommend using the index finger if you're just browsing, because, you know, it's e cause your index finger is smaller and it's easier to control. Where is this guy? You crouch, right? Oh, Pook needs to crack and toxic. I have a rocket gun! Where is this guy? I mean, if he's behind me, I'm dead, because I can't flip around. Oh, okay, let's- Oh, let's- Oh, let's depress the- Let's depress the right pad. Oh, does that work ever? It works for flipping around. Okay. Okay, maybe just having one guy was a bad idea. I, mean, I had to test out the controller anyway. But, yeah, it kind of works. Okay, then, um... Right shoulder does that. What does Y do? Nothing. Oh, wait, left stick is also a jump? Okay. Don't know what game, don't know... I don't, I don't know of any game that does that, but oh well. Where is this guy? Yeah. yeah, if you depress the right, uh, if you depress the right, t uh, the right touch green, or the right touchpad, it does, uh, it's big sweeping motion. It's, it's like hitting, like, F what, F6 in Minecraft, and you get the big sweeping cinematic camera. Yeah, we need, we need some serious guys to shoot in the face with the rocket launcher. Yes. Oh, um, it does work in here, correct? Yeah, it does work in here. Uh, let's just have a couple guys. Yeah, let's do this again. Alright. But hey, it works! I can't! I mean, like, I, I, I keep saying this, but... I keep saying this, but the Steam controller just adapts really well. I mean, if nothing, it adapts really well to stuff. Alright, we gotta get that shotgun. Oh, we spawned right next to the shotgun. That's nice. Okay, no, we know there's people around here somewhere. Found one! Oh. Oh. Oh, we got a rocket launcher. But I have a shotgun! I have a shotgun! I killed someone with a steam controller! I have a shotgun and I won! Well, he was ter- he was terrible at aiming, but I still got a shotgun and won. Well, let's go up the thing. Flip around, flip around. Flip. Oh, that's not really working. Let's go up the thing again. But hey, we got someone. We're in second place now, but we got somebody. Okay, we're not going to be doing much gameplay, it's just going to be just testing out the same controller. As I got, I swear, I got, I got to put that in the description, don't I? Just to make sure everyone knows. Yo, flip around, flip around. You think I should buy a rocket launcher, it looks like. Oh, ah, there you are. I found you. You have a rocket launcher? I have a rocket launcher. However, I see you, you don't seem to see me. You must not be wearing his total peaches today. Yeah, I got, I'm behind you. Got my second kill, alright. Again, uh, again, if I was facing a guy with any higher level or a real person, I'd probably be dead. Oh, it's a pistol. Oh, six to be him in second. Oh. Yeah, no. Oh, he, he now the rocket launcher. Oh, I am missing, I am missing, I am missing, I am missing. Oh, he went that way, that's unfortunate. Oh, jump! Ah, jump didn't work. Okay. 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 Well, I know it works with Toxic, that's for sure. Alright, so is, are any more games, do I want to do any more games for the whole, um, for testing out games that, uh, for testing out, uh, games that don't have controller support? Yeah, I do, I do, because this is just, like, I do because I got some other games I want to do, but those are strategy games, I want to save them, for, I guess I want to save them for another video. Alright, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys watching, uh, this video, it means a lot to me. Well, it's not to me to leave a comment, actually, you know what, I'll meet you back at Big Picture. Be right back. All right, so um, yeah, there there are okay. We, today we did um, today we did FTL, uh, Brig Brigador and Toxic, all games which are on Steam yet never got controllers. Um, and t and the and the first one was never intended to have a controller. The second one, uh, they have they want to have a controller one day, but right now a uh, how the controls are set up currently won't really work for a controller. Um. 
so we try to we so we try the steam controller there and toxic which can easily be you can easily probably use a controller on it but the devs don't want to put a controller in the game because they want it to be peacefully awesome uh or or let's be more fair they want to be a, like a classic fps which doesn't need a controller um so uh yeah at the outward perfectly it you know, it, the the Steam controller adapted perfectly with these settings um, to FTL and it played it perfectly. Um, then we tried Bidjador. Again, it adapted perfectly. Uh, Troy Toxic. It worked well, except more sensitivity is... I mean, that's, it works well for more sensitivity, but more sensitivity is easy. Because we just do this, and then we do event settings, and then we just go bam. Uh, then we just go... Yeah, then we just go... Actually, not smoothing, but... Oh, actually, oh, we, yeah, we go year and go bam, and that's what we do, uh, that's just a setting, so that's not that bad, uh, so, yeah, I mean, the stick controller, like I said, although I, had, although I had trouble getting it to work in games that, uh, in games that are, that default, that when you hit connect controller defaults to it, uh, I guess I can try Fallout New Vegas, because it has a default controller, but, you know, I wanted to try other things, um, uh, and that didn't really work out that well, uh, but however, now that we move to games which were in the which Steam, which Steam controller was really made for, um, as in games that aren't native to controllers at all, um, it works perfectly. Really, it worked perfectly. It worked as worked as um worked as they said. Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. Well, no, uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess point one to uh, the Steam controller. The other one was like, uh, that one was actually that one was like point one. This is like point two to the same controller, because it worked, but didn't work. Didn't work for games that it didn't work for cross code, which uh, didn't work for cross code, which you know cross code it worked perfectly with controllers, at least the Wii Pro controller, and it and uh, and Halo's Fire Stick, which again works perfectly with a normal controller. Uh, was intended for an Xbox One controller, but works perfectly with a Pro controller, and then you got. Angel Fall first, which nah, it, I think it's partial controller support, but then, but you know, it probably would work. It probably would work splendidly had I been able to actually customize the uh, settings. And then you got Renegade X, which is now on Steam. The three R, and that worked perfectly, pretty much. Or yeah, that worked perfectly, except for the fact that Sprint didn't work for whatever dumb reason. Um, but remember that game. I wonder. You know, I wouldn't. Because I wonder if the devs ever heard about the Steam controller. I mean, they might have. I mean, they probably did since they probably are on Steam. Um, but again, it worked perfectly. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with this controller, but it works at least. I mean, I, I can, you know, when you move. Oh, yeah, oh that's right. Turning off the controller to get back on again. Yeah, don't let that fool you. If you're if you're uh, if you're just in Steam or if you're in um, or if you're in. Uh, if you're on Steam, or if you're in Steam, or if you're in, um, oh, actually, it doesn't work at all, um, uh, if you're on Steam, uh, if you're in Steam, or if you're in Big Picture, holding, uh, the home button doesn't do that, I wish it did, it'd be a whole lot better, um, but I guess that's things for them to do in the future, but then get, uh, like it, but going back to what I was saying, yeah, I mean, if you, if you, you know, if you, you know, if you want, if you have, like, a Steam Link or a Steam console, or if you just want to play your game, or you just want to play games on a controller that are not necessarily intended for a controller, the Steam controller is definitely worth it. Um, because they play FDL just perfectly. Um, which, again, that game doesn't even have any key bindings, nevertheless controller support. Uh, play Vrigidor just fine. Again, another game that doesn't really have key bindings, uh, or, and doesn't have controller support at the moment. Um... And then, uh, and then Toxic, which does have key bindings and sensitivity controls, but, um, uh, uh, but, you know, there is no control support because devs don't want it, or neither does people that, like, the, pe people that, the people that the devs want to sell the game to, um, uh, like, the target audience, so, yeah, I mean, and that's what the, that's what the scene controller is really intended for, because... You can play cross golf controller just fine in controller like plays like again you can use a Wii U Pro controller or use a or use an Xbox controller really easily uh, maybe a P PS4 controller I always wanted to get one just to test it out I might have to but um yeah uh, and then but they didn't work uh, and then the Steam controller didn't work in cross code hey, again Halo Spartan Strike didn't work in that even though normal controllers work fine um, 
Wait one second. Oh uh, yes, I was. Oh yeah, I was saying. You know, if you if you already play, if all your games already have the controller support and the controller works perfectly there, then the Steam controller really is not really worth it all that much. Unless of course you want a way to move around Steam or your desktop without or uh, without using a mouse and keyboard, then the controller is worth it. But then again, there are. I know like there's a three dollar or four or four or five dollar program on Steam and app. Uh, where you can where you can make a Xbox 360 controller become adapted to, uh, you know, to to a um, or any controller like a Xbox 360 controller like a Pro controller and make it adapted to the um, and make it adapted to the dashboard, which you can do if you want. Um, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good system. I think that's like, I think that's like a like Xbox um, controller companion or something. Something around there, you probably can find it. I I could probably find it as well and put it put like an annotation in, or put a uh, put the name in the annotation is right now. But we'll we'll see if I do. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean this thing does work as intended when it comes to games that were uh, went, went for. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try older games, games that this thing was never ever ever meant for at all, <laughs> pretty much. Or it was meant for because they're all old games on Steam and that's what they're also meant for. But old games where this control, where, you know, they never intended for controller support anyway, or the controller support is weird. Uh, and those games are, uh, actually, no, wait, we need to do one more, we need to do one more game, we need to do one more game type before this. We gotta try, uh, we gotta try, um, flying games and strategy games. We'll do that next, I gotta have myself. Uh, next we're gonna be doing strategy games and flying games. I think we're gonna be trying Stone Hearts, we're gonna be trying Command and Conquer, we're gonna be trying, um, uh, we're gonna be trying Stone Hearth, and we'll try a modern Command Conquer. Then, uh, uh, okay, I guess Command Conquer Three, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna try Command Conquer Three. We won't try Command Conquer. Don't want to do anything. Else. We're doing something else. But okay, we'll do a modern. We'll do a modern RTS anyway. Um, basically Stone Hearth. Actually, no. What? No, we're gonna do Civilization Beyond Earth. So I think I'd for on um, uh first. Uh, and after do that, we're gonna do Stone Hearth, and after that, we're gonna do um, a Command Conquer. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. That's what we're gonna be doing next time. All right, but uh, and after that we'll do old games like uh, Battlefield Two, uh, my favorite, uh, Command Conquer Two: Tiberian Sun. I'll look to do that next in the next batch with with my Command Conquer game, but I want to try a modern one first, like Command Conquer Three. Um, oh yeah, Command Conquer. I do have Command Conquer Three. I'll set up. For audio, I think, unless it's just for my laptop, which it might be. But we'll, but I'll find out once I get there. Uh, all right, and um, yeah, so that's what we're doing, and we'll probably wrap up the series after we do the old, old games, which, like I said, are. Oh, oh, I forgot something. Okay, I forgot something. I tried. I, I forgot a game that I could do. I could, could do Minecraft. That's actually a good idea. We have to do that next time. All right, we'll do Minecraft next time then. Uh, we do Minecraft, Stone Hearth, uh, we do Minecraft, no, we do Minecraft Civilization, Rising Tide. Um, oh, wait, Minecraft Civilization, Rising Tide, and Victor Thrust. Uh, no, yes, wait, no, Minecraft Civilization, Rising Tide, Stone Hearth, Victor Thrust, because we need all of them. Just to see how that works. Alright, but, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you watching uh, this video. Leave that to me. Also, leave that to me to leave a comment. Thank you for the most great questions. May I have any questions uh, for this series? Like what games you want me to test this thing out on next? Or tips on how, and or tips on how to use this thing controller in general? If you want to know what comments are let do know that. And I guess, see you in a second.